Charlie Schufeld and his friends wondered what happened to all those old computers littered along the information highway, left to gather dust when companies upgraded their systems. That motherboard fried. They set out to find them. Get the one on your left. Fix them up and give them to charities. All right, that works. The kids began kicking around the idea last summer, finally decided to open the repair shop, sold some of their old computers to pay the rent, started scrounging tools from neighborhood businesses. Charles, you felt. Charles, how are you? Good. And went out looking okay. for more donations. Got it. Yep. Charlie persuaded 27 companies in Atlanta to give him 150 computers that had become obsolete. I had no idea that, uh, you know, that he was a teenager. <sighs> he and his pals are all just 15, <laughs> still learning. Okay, there we go. But they are giving back to society something very, very rare. And then we can stick one right there. Something most adults cannot do. Well, some can, but you know, but they'll, they'll charge 150 an hour to do it. Very good. That's too expensive for Atlanta's YWCA. Yeah. The children would not have had a program. It's just that simple. Yeah, we'll do all the installation, make sure everything works out before we give them the system. They are all self-taught. OK, seems ready to go. I never took any course or anything. But they're so good. They even figured out how to take a black and white monitor and make it color. That's a hard one. Word got around. 34 charities lined up for Charlie's services. So many, he formed a nonprofit company called Free Bites. During summer, someone's here from 9 to 5 every day. Altogether, the kids have worked a thousand hours for free. Why? Don't ask Charlie's mom. We, we don't know. <laughs> we wonder where he came from. Obviously from somewhere out on the information highway. In space bar to play. Where he's now jump-starting lives. Got it. Good job. Not just computers. Oh, we just missed. Bob Dodson, right. NBC News, Atlanta. Okay. Got it.